welcome back to my channel it's your girl d today i'm coming at you guys with this really sickening um like halo cut crease type of moment um it has a lot of color going on so um yeah i just felt like sitting down and doing my makeup again because you know i did my last tutorial and well it wasn't really a tutorial it's more of a video Anyways, um, yeah, I did my last video and I really love how that look came out. So I just got inspired to do something else um, really colorful and really creative. So yeah, this is what I came up with. Hope you guys like it. And if, like I said in the last video, if you want to see more videos from me, just um, give this video a thumbs up. Also comment below um, telling me that you love my videos and tell me what else you think I should do. What kind of looks do you want to see me doing? So yeah without further ado let's get into the video Alrighty, guys so to get started i'm gonna go ahead and use my drunk elephant moisturizer and i'm just gonna use a brush to apply that all over my face and the moisturizer is my polypeptide moisturizer now i'm gonna go ahead and just moisturize my lips i have a lot of lip balm so i can't really remember which one it is but just moisturize your lips so now I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color medium brown and I'm just going to follow the natural shape of my brow and fill in my brows. And next I'm taking my Iconic um, I believe it's called the Brow Cushion. I'm not sure exactly what the name is, but it's by the brand Iconic London. And I'm just using that product to um, kind of further fill in my brows. Okay, and then finally I'm going to finish off my brows with my Anastasia um, Brow Gel. Okay, next I'm taking my Huda Beauty Concealer and I'm using that to um, outline or I guess clean up my brows. And that is in the color peanut butter. So just um, shaping up the um, underneath my brow and applying the rest of the concealer to my lid in order to prime for the eyeshadow. And then of course I use my Tarte Shape Tape as well. Um, I'm going to use that to um, just further prime my eyelids and I'm blending that in with my um, MAC brush just to get that nice and evened out. Okay guys, so going into my James Charles palette, I go into that deep purple shade and I pack that on my crease area until it's nice and opaque on each eye. Next I'm going to go in with a bright red and I'm just going to blend out the top edge of that purple that I just applied. So just swirling that in, making sure it's nice and bright as well, going over the top of that purple. Once I get the red that I want nice and bright, I'm gonna go back in with the purple and just blend over that to make sure everything's nice and seamless. Then I'm gonna take a translucent powder and put that on the blank space that's left um, towards my brow bone. And I'm going to take an orange shade from my James Charles palette and blend it up towards the, um, the brow bone, finishing that eyeshadow off. Before you're completely done, just going ahead and go through all three brushes and blend all three colors over each other, just making sure all three colors are showing through. Now I'm gonna take my Anastasia um, brow primer, or not brow primer, <laughs> lid primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. So this part takes a little while, so I kinda just skip through it, but just go ahead and um, get a nice flat brush and cut your crease with that. Okay, you should have something looking like this, and I just showed the three brushes that I used to blend all the colors. Once that is done, I'm going in with that orange shade that I applied towards the brow bone and I'm going to pack that on with a pencil brush. Then I also went in with the same brush and I applied red and I packed that on as well. So I'm just blending those two colors onto the lid um, on the outer and inner corner. And then finally I'm finishing off the middle part with a yellow shade. 
I tried to use the yellow shade from the James Charles palette, but it didn't come out as nice, so I went ahead with my um, Alyssa Edwards palettes by Aus Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I used that yellow shade to um, finish that. Finally, I'm just going in with that pencil brush once again and blending the edges, making sure the orange and the red is nice and seen. And then to finish the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and add that purple just to tie everything together on the inner and the outer corner. Okay, so once that's looking good, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the top of my brows like I did the bottom. Once my brows are nice and sharp, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my Claudier um, Mattifying Primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face. Next, I'm gonna also apply my Photo Finish Smashbox Primer, and I'm gonna use that in my T-zone area to smooth out and fill out any pores. Okay, the foundation I'm using today is my All Nighter. So this one is a super matte and full coverage foundation, so I usually go for full coverage when I do um, over the top looks on my eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all that out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, next I'm going in with um, that Huda Beauty concealer that I used before in the color peanut butter and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the outsides of my under eye and down the center of my face. So my forehead, my nose, my lip, and my chin. Okay, next I'm going to take my Lancome Camouflage Concealer and I'm going to use that in the most inner corner of my eyes. And then a little bit um, down the center of my face again to further brighten and highlight the center of my face. Doing this is going to like really draw attention to the center of your face, especially if you have a really nice um, eyeshadow look. It looks really good. Now I'm just going to go over that with my Ruby Kisses powder that I got from the beauty supply store. It's in the color Earth and I'm going to go ahead and just tap that on the highlighted areas of my face. Next, I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty um, powder and I'm just gonna finish that off um, on the rest of my face. Now I'm taking my Sephora Collection bronzer and I'm using that to bronze up my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, and my chin area. Um, this palette is the Spice Market palette, I believe, and yeah, I'm just using that to bronze, like I said. Okay, next I'm taking Sweet as Cocoa by MAC, and it's like a nice brown um, shimmery bronzer, and I'm just going to go over the top of my, um, my Spice Micro bronzer that I used. Now I'm going in with um, my Coppering Blush, and I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. And then I'm going to go ahead and follow up with... Um, Primer Water, and this is by um, Farsali. Okay, and this step is very important. I always um, pat with my Beauty Blender once I spray my face, and it gives you a nice dewy glowy look on your skin. Now I'm taking my Naked Cosmetics um, Highlighter Palette, and I'm taking the yellow highlighter and um, just applying that to my cheekbones, and it looks so good. It came out super, super bright. Um, but that's thanks to the, um, the Farsali primer water that I used. Okay, next I'm going in with my face powder that I used by Huda Beauty. And I'm going to use that to clean up my bronzer. I just want it to look a little bit more sharp and blend it towards my mouth area. So, going ahead and doing that.
okay and then i'm also going to further highlight my brow bone and then also the inner corners of my eyes and i think that's it i'm gonna go ahead and highlight those area with the same highlight that i used on my face i really feel like this tied the look together it looks so good at this point now i'm just taking my nyx jumbo pencil in white and i'm going to use a um, my, my concealer brush just to apply that on my lids since the pencil is no longer sharp and then I tried my best to um, film myself doing my eyeliner it was kind of hard so I got a few clips but basically I'm just adding on some um, eyeliner here and then I wanted to amp up the look so I also added my um, yellow um, eyeliner and this is by NYX and it's called the vivid liner but yeah and just in the shade yellow it looked really good Okay, once I have that going, I went ahead and added my um, lashes, and these are the Cleopatra lashes by Ace Beauty, and then I also blended them together with some mascara as well on my um, top lids, and then I added some mascara on my bottom lids as well. Okay, so to finish off the look, I went ahead and added my lip liner by NYX, in the color mahogany to the light of my lips obviously and then i added my london london um lip cream by nyx as well lastly i'm going to top off my lips with my lip gloss by urban decay in the shade 1993 and y'all that completes the look yeah guys so this is the final look thank you guys so much for tuning into my videos and if you want to see more just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button like i said in the beginning and also please subscribe to my channel i really want this channel to grow um, i really want to do more tutorials so yeah just go ahead and subscribe so i'm able to do that for you guys and again thank you so much so bye